Welcome guys. Here is how to screencast from your Chrome browser or your Google Chrome to your mobile phone. So when when I say you want to screencast from your Chrome browser to your Google, um, your mobile phone is um, you want to display what it's showing on your PC to your mobile phone. It's going to display from your for your um, laptop, which is your Chrome laptop, to your mobile phone. So let's dive into that. Now, um, what you need to actually search is Chrome Remote Desktop. It's actually Chrome Remote Desktop. So you have to search for this. You hit enter on your search. And then on your mobile phone, go ahead and search for the same thing on your Android Play Store. So it's called Chrome um, Remote Desktop. The same word. And if you are using iPhone, this is also available for iPhone user. So this is the application right there. You notice it's been published by Google L Google LLC, which is actually the Google right um, this thing. And let me go ahead and copy this URL. Guys, this is actually not the link that is going to help us to scream it on a Chrome browser if you are making use of a Chrome browser. So if you click on this, I'm going to click on stay in Chrome. On default, it's going to bring this stuff. Now, the reason why it's bringing this stuff is because I've actually installed the extension. So just note that to actually make use of this application, you need to install this extension. So go over to Google Play, um, Chrome extension. So this is the Chrome Web Store. Just type uh, the Chrome Web Store, um, chrome.google.com then forward slash web store so it takes you to the web store make sure this extension is selected and then go ahead and search for that particular url chrome chrome um, remote desktop so when you hit search just go ahead and search so when you hit search it's going to show you different results this first one is actually the one you notice it says remote desktop.google.com which is actually the correct one so when you click on it i already have it installed when you click on it you are going to see something like add to chrome but I already have this added, so it's going to show me remove, just like it's showing on install on mobile. So make sure you have it installed. So once you have it installed, and once you have it installed, click on this three-dotted icon right here. You're going to see it where it says Chrome Remote Desktop. It's actually similar to the same URL that I displayed the other time. But the reason why I displayed that way is because I already have it installed. So also open it on your mobile. So first, you need to actually generate um, a code for it to start displaying the screen. So I'm going to click on generate a code. So it's going to take some time to actually load. And guys, doing this, make sure you have an active internet on both of your devices. So first, generate a code on your PC, and then you come over to your mobile to actually type out this code that you have generated. So on your mobile area, click on, um, on this menu icon on the top left. And then you notice where it says remote support. Click on that. Now, from this area, you have to enter this code that is displaying on the Google Chrome laptop. So I'm going to type that in. Do not add space. Just go ahead and type in the numbers without space. It's going to automatically add the space by itself. So the space is actually for you to be able to read the numbers properly. So once you finish typing, go ahead and hit enter. And it will start connecting then pay attention to your Google Chrome because there will be a notification that should display on your Google Chrome. Now you can notice on the Google Chrome, there is an information, there is a notification right there on the bottom area that says, would you like to allow trust part, uh, this is my Gmail, to send and control your computer. Go ahead and click on share and you notice it has started. So on my, um, on my mobile device, it is now connected and this is my google chrome and you notice i can easily uh, control my google chrome with my mobile device i am trying to con control that right now you can see but well, my internet is a bit slow so if you have a slow internet this is actually what will happen but actually you will be able to control and see everything happening on right there let me go ahead and zoom in a little um trying to load a different url so the thing is i'll be able to control it but it's just that because i'm on mobile it's going to have this weird feeling of um, not working properly but it's actually working but 
it's been a bit slow just like you know if you are in nigeria just like i am the internet is always very slow so you'll be able to control and make different do click on different things just like you are doing on pc i'll be able to control this um chrome browser with my mobile phone but depending on how fast the internet is i might be limited but you can see right there that i i can click on multiple url right now so um, even though I'm controlling it with my Chrome browser, you can still see everything on my mobile displaying perfectly well. And let me go ahead and open YouTube.com. You can see the way it displays. The same thing displaying on the mobile is the same thing displaying on my Chrome browser or my Chromebook. So this is actually not any different. And guys, this is actually all I have to show you on today's video. Please let me know if this video is helpful. And on my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remote control um, on your PC. That one is actually the same thing, but just for some reason, I will be doing that with a different application. So I hope this video is helpful. If it is, don't forget to smash like and subscribe for more video. I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace. And guys, do not forget, you can also join my membership if you want to be um, commenting and if you really want to support this channel to grow more. Please do support my membership. I will really appreciate that you do if you want to support our growth in the channel. But if you can't, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am really, really impressed with the amount of subscribers and the amount of attention I'm getting so far. So thank you for your support and see you on my next video. Peace. All right, so I have to...